Howdy, today we're going to talk about Lesson 83, Multiplying Numbers in Scientific Notation. Now we've had quite a bit of experience with scientific notation, so this is just an expansion of that. Remember how we work with exponents or powers. And um, I'd like you to make a chart so you have it in your notes. Here's a chart of 10 to the first power is 10 to the second to the third to the fourth. Notice it's the power and the number of tens that are multiplied times each other match. Remember that 10 to the zero power is always one. Okay, 10 to the zero power, always one. Now remember from a while back, when we multiply powers of 10, we simply add the powers. So for instance, if I have 10 to the second times 10 to the fourth, I could write that out long ways and I'd have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 or I could simply take 10 to the 2 plus 4 power 1 2 3 4 5 6 yep ends up to be 10 to the 6 power and I have another one here okay I have 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the 7 I have 10 to the negative 1 times 10 to the negative 1 now there's a little trick to that one so we'll see that in a second and then I, of course, of course, have seven tens there. Well, when I add these up, I end up with 10 to the negative 2 plus 7, which really ends up to be 10 to the fifth. How do I do that? Well, this is how I do it. Actually, 10 to the negative 1 is really 1 tenth. And so I can, I can take a 10 out of here and a 10 out of here. I can take a 10 out of here and a 10 out of here. And what do I have left? One, two, three, four, five, and it sure does work. Or you can simply say 10 to the negative 2 plus 7 is 10 to the 5, because you add a negative 2 plus a 7, and you get a 5. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's take a look at multiplying scientific notation by scientific notation. It is not hard at all. Doesn't take very much time, just take a lot of thought. Okay? So let's say I have 3 times 10 to the second times 4 times 10 to the fourth. Well, first of all, you're going to multiply the first two terms because they're alike. So you end up with 3 times 4. And then you're going to multiply the last two terms because they're alike. 10 to the second times 10 to the fourth. We end up with 12, which is 3 times 4, times 10 to the 2 plus 4, which of course is 6. Now, if we want to write the answer in scientific notation, we have to do one more step which we have to turn this into a decimal that works for scientific notation. And so we would rewrite it as 1.2 times 10 to the seventh, because you have that extra, this extra move here. Okay, another example, 1.4 times 10 to the second times 2.1 times 10 to the fourth. Again, you have 1.4, because those are alike and 2.1 and then you have 10 to the second and 10 to the fourth and you go ahead and do your math and multiply over here and you end up with 2.94 from this multiplication and 10 to the second times 10 to the fourth is 10 to the 2 plus 4 which is 6 and so you end up with 2.94 times 10 to the sixth so that one turned out kind of nice you didn't have to make any extra changes or moves or adjustments it only had one number to the left of the decimal. Okay, got a couple more to show you here. 3.1 times 10 to the negative 2 and 4 times 10 to the second. Again, we have 3.1 times 4 here and we have 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the 2. So once we multiply, we end up with 12.4 which shows up here. Okay, and you got to make that adjustment, so this is 1.24 times 10 to the first, and then you bring down 10 to the negative 2 plus 2. Well, guess what? They take, go away. 2 minus 2 is 0, so you end up with 10 to the 1 plus 0, 1.24 times 10 to the 1 plus 0, which ends up to be 1.24 times 10 to the 1. That's a little different one. And, of course, this last example. 6 times 10 to the negative 3 times 4 times 10 to the 4th. 6 times 4, right here. 10 to the negative 3 times 10 to the 4th, there. 
we end up with 24 here, which of course is going to have to be adjusted if we're going to write it in scientific notation. We have 10 to the negative 3 plus 4, which gives us 10 to the 1. If we rewrite this, this is 2.4 times 10 to the first. And remember, that's just for this first term. And then we have to take it times this last term. Okay? So we end up with 2.4 times 10 to the 1 plus 1, or 2.4 times 10 to the second. Okay, and here's one very last one here. Is that too tough? 16 times 10 to the fourth times 1.2 times 10 to the negative 6. Multiply the first two terms, this one and this one, you get 19.2, which is perfect. You just need to move the decimal one place. And this ends up to be 10 to the 4 plus negative 6. So we end up with 1.92 times 10 to the first. And remember, that's taking care of this first part here. And then we have 10 to the negative 2. Last move here, we have 1.2, okay, times 10 to the 1 plus negative 2 power, which is going to leave us with 1.2 times 10 to the negative 1. This is going to take a little work, but I guarantee you, if you're diligent, you'll figure it out and it won't be too hard. Ask lots of questions. See you in class.